Welcome back, my fellow Burgundians. I'm your host, Herr Mokolova, and right now we must read Above All. Albert was getting coffee when the wall of the remote radio station exploded. When the ringing in ears subsided, or in his ears subsided, and the dust that had filled the corridor began to settle, he realized something very bad was happening. He did not see the Germans enter the building through the main room, but the shots made it absolutely clear they had done so, getting to his feet. He scrambled down the corridor for the exit, cursing in his mind the sentries who had been too incompetent to notice the approaching Germans before they radioed him. Then he remembered the folder sitting in the commander's office at the other end of the hall. As second in command, he was supposed to destroy the folder in the event of enemy breach unless the superior ordered him otherwise. Cursing ever louder inside, he turned and ran back. <clears throat> This was the last of the Woodlands Legion's hideouts, coordinating their cells. Almost every remaining safe out of the Legion was in that folder. He rushed past the door to the main room of the station, hoping the shouting and shooting figures in the dust in there would not notice him, though shouting quickly proved him wrong. Just seconds after he locked the door to the office, a hammering came at the door, but Albert had other concerns to his relief. He spotted the remnants of the folder already smoldering in the commander's waste bin next to a body of its owner. The commander had not decided to wait for him. He promptly destroyed it and bit down on a cyanide pill. Qu quickly making a decision, Albert was fumbling with the box, holding his own pill when the door uh, office door was blasted open, setting him to the floor. Albert desperately reached for the box when a steel tipped boot slammed down on his hand. He screamed in pain as a German SS officer kneeled down and smiled at him. Hello, we are going to be friends for the rest of your life, you and I. Cool. And actually, that brings me a question. So. Remember earlier in this campaign, we got hit by Legion loyalty. Yeah, we still have, we don't have completely loyal legions, even though we uh, we're they're all loyal. So I think maybe that's an oversight. Maybe I mean, yeah, we're still like discovering things and issues about our legions, but is this bugged? Maybe just because they're all loyal. At least they say they're, they say they're loyal, but then again, are they really loyal? But well, whatever. So. I'd love to do this. Massively reducing Charlemagne and Walloon's suspicion will be unlocked. That's kind of cool. Accelerating the weight. I'd like to do that, but we're going to jump ahead and do this stuff. Now, at the time of recording, we have more support right now versus for going under the curtain versus Synthetische Crafts Ausproduktion. And the one that won out will be Synthetische Crafts Ausproduktion. Aryan science is the envy of the world. Why then? Should we spend our hard-earned capital on foreign petrol when we can invest that money here in our own research centers? Instead of buying oil overseas, we could be making our own. Aryan ingenuity is not to be underestimated by focusing our research and development efforts on synthetically producing petroleum and other hydrocarbons. We can further reduce our dependence on the global market, which is a very, very good thing. It's very weird here, though. Academic base is still going down. We Our research facilities are still going down. And our industrial expertise is going down. But... And this equipment is going up. The poverty rate is going up. Or going, getting better. We're spot and discipline is going up. That's almost about to go over to the top uh, echelon. And we our nuclear stockpile is still going up. So we definitely are prioritizing all sorts of things here. And let's see. We're extracting precious minerals in our own as well. And so far this is looking pretty darn good for us. Oh, that is a bit too many guys for that. Oh, no. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. And let's continue going on and hopefully discovering a lot of secrets that are happening behind the scenes with the legions. Uh-oh. A lot of lag. Ah, Iran has fallen apart. Study the Bergius process. Survey campaigns. Organizing will cost us $50 million. Resource excavation tech. Tapping the oil reserves of Paris Basin in ex exchange for skilled workers. Fuel efficiency. Looking into rubber. I kind of want to look into rubber because we are... Well, actually, no. We're actually doing very quite well in rubber. Huh. Okay. We'll expand the stuff. Store 5% more fuel. Let's study the Bergius process. Our top researchers are convinced that they can perfect the Bergius process. <clears throat> there are these three different processes that are, men can use to make petrol. A heavy oil process, a lighter medium oil process, and finally the gasoline method. If we were to do all this production on one site rather than separate ones as we have been doing, we could greatly cut down on our waste and transportation costs since the waste from those separate processes can be recycled and used for others. Our scientists are optimistic that they can increase our coal liquid faction carbon efficiency to 95%, provided the Stadt assists with funding. Not bad. Aryan Civil War. I don't think we can do anything for them. Uh, so that's kind of okay. Actually, double check. Enough guys there. Enough, way more than enough guys here. Um, Rodomo still looking pretty good. There you go. Actually, how many skilled workers? We bought 950. Uh, let's see if we need to take anyone else here. Anyone need to leave and find a new home? And by need to find a new home, I mean never coming home. Mm. Cool. And we can't do a global plan just because we don't have enough political power yet. But we do have quite a few supplies. 53, which is pretty good. All right, intelligence. Ooh, medium counterintelligence. Well, actually, we have now the red poppy here, so we could do something against the red poppy folk. Uh, if you like to hear about missing equipment, please go right ahead. And sweeping through local workers. Search your dorm workers. I want to do that one. Comb the facts would be nice, but let's, let's do this one.
Nice. Let's see. Supplies do doing okay. Second night of the long knives to last forever. Oh, uh, we could do this. Uh, equipment wouldn't be bad really to get. Monthly food is still doing quite well, so we're doing well with that. And we're almost done with all this stuff. Oh, wait, level 11. Uh, maybe we... Huh. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Look at all that stuff. Ah, enhanced industrial stuff. Very good. Military factories. Might as well for now. And then we'll probably go with looking at rubber. Oil resin has a myriad of uses pertaining to industrial uses. Plastics, adhesives, sea, pl sea lands, pl paint, and all the more need resin as a base. More importantly than all of this, however, is rubber. Using our leftover petrol resins, resins this waste from our refining can be used to synthesize our own rubber products. Our scientists say that with a little optimization, we can get more out of what we've been producing so far. The importance of increasing our rubber yields cannot be understated. Rubber is a necessary good. Without it, production of a vital military goods is simply impossible. If we're to achieve autarky, we must increase our pitifully low yields of rubber for the good of the Aldenstadt. Increasing our rubber output needs to be priority. Very good. Followed well, probably with integrate their domo facilities. That'd be really good. Get more synthetic refineries already. We have let lazy degenerates lazing around in our camps. Our Stadt also lacks oil and synthetic rubber. As our fathers would say, we should kill two birds with a single stone. We can mobilize slave laborers and subject them to brutal working conditions and hours to quickly build more oil refineries. The human cost will likely be significant if we were to build these expediently. Uh, the people in question are also untermensch. Their lives are a forfeit and of no consequence. Very good. Uh, guns. We actually make like a thousand guns a day, so I'm not really too worried about this at all. Ah, uh, screw it. Well, you know, I'll do this one. It's going to hurt our industrial output, but that's okay. So, guns in the black market. Um, it's only $10 million. Um... That's a waste of time, then. Zero money. Ten million is really just not much at all, though. Let's see. Anything here? Greatly increased officer capacity? Sure, why not? Greatly increase it. Even though it doesn't seem like it's really going up. Intelligence right now is 35. Suspicion 17. Shalomay, what else can we do with you? We have these guys, but we can't do anything about promiscuous offices. How unfortunate. Look at all this stuff we discovered, though. La Gala? Um, I think we already read this one. Or you guys, I let you guys read this one, so... Use surveillance equipment? I don't know, let's see. 76% chance is actually pretty bad, but we'll try it anyways. Good. Anything else? You can take a few more guys away from there. Looking into rubber. There you go. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Here, we build another factory. Anything else we really concern ourselves with around here? No, not too much. Hopefully. There you go. You can have another group. We have 2,000 extra people there? Nope. Ah, integrate the Rodomo facilities, my friends. Worst industrial expertise. Uh, yesterday, a man was killed, not by a murder, not by some horrible disease. He died where he spent most of his waking life, stamping logos on a poorly constructed mugs. A false placed pneumatic tube exploded, selling the convoy be belts, nails, and screws across the factory, killing him instantly. His family mourns for something to change, and the manufacturers have taken a half hearted apology. Life moves on. These are the consequences of declining industrial expertise, not only poor goods and slower production, but lives. The government neglected the people it ostensibly serves and said shifting money to relief efforts or new homes or just plain old corruption. It'll have its consequences. But what if we don't care? Hmm, didn't think about that one, huh, devs? What if we play in Burgundy and we really don't care? Expanding our operations? Ah, uh, might as well. The next year demands more. Our output, after all these last few months, is still woefully inadequate. It's time to ramp up production even further. Other small crude oil reserves? We're going to drill them. We have more, many more, hundreds of thousands of interventions wasting away in our camps. Unacceptable. They are to be mobilized and put to working, work building, then working in the new refineries across the Stadt. The Reichsführer isn't content to, ju to just let our own area stand by. Any of our own men with technical experience of any kind should be temporarily assigned to construction details. Very good. Very good. Followed up with implement rationing. Why not? In an attempt to save even more fuel from our own uses, the Stadt shall introduce strict rationing. Anyone who is not in Aryan or one of our collaborators will be ineligible to receive motor fuel or oil. Furthermore, all citizens who have access to petrol will be limited to how much they can receive on their importance to the olden shop. Though many will not like it, no one will dare complain. This is, after all, for the good of the shop. Through personal sacrifices come victory. Very good. Sure, why not? Why not? Even more supplies. 66 supplies is pretty good. We have no more skilled laborers in reserve, which might not be good, but... 
We shall see. Anything else here? Yes. Take away a few more guys there. That's fine. We actually have quite a few police officers, too. That's pretty nice. Uh, anything else up here? Over there? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Pretty good, pretty good. You can dump a lot of them off. Right here. There you go. That's now that's pretty nice. Uh goodbye. by Yeah, actually that's pretty good actually already. So mm, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty nice. Oh we're all pretty darn good. And then no more generosity. The collaborators are not Aryans. They will never be. They merely took tools that we use to further on our own goals. They have become complacent, fat, lazy. Only by our good graces are they still. And their families are still not in camps. And they know this well. Sitting so strict rationing on the collaborators has two main benefits. First, it'll put the collaborators in their place, so to speak. We don't want them to forget that they work for us. Not the other way around. That they work for us, not the other way around. They're expendable, and we do not want to fall out of favor with us. The added benefit of more oil for the Shtat is not to be overlooked, however. The Reichsfeer SS demands more fuel for our war industry, and we will, of course, comply. To boost fuel production in exchange for decreasing loyal Legion loyalty? Okay, that's fine with me. I don't really care. So be it. So be it. Uh, we can actually spend... Oh, we can actually do some of this stuff, huh? I suppose we could. Puma is okay. Wolf is okay. Puma... I guess that's the only one we can do. Was Adler locked er unlocked earlier? Or was it Japan? Or maybe we just can do this eventually. Or something. I don't know. Normal generosity. Followed up with survey camps. Taking inventory of our overall oil output is not reassuring. The Odenstadt, as it is of now, simply does not have the capabilities to supply the Stadt with enough oil to be self-sufficient. The Reichsfeer demands we resolve the issue at once. The Odenstadt's energy, independence, and self-sufficiency is vital for the survival and well-being of the Stadt. It is well known that there are plentiful natural gas reserves in the Netherlands. Therefore, it is in a stretch that there could be very well more, be more oil in the Odenstadt than we haven't discovered yet. Therefore, the Reichsfeer has ordered a vast survey campaign to be conducted through our holdings to find untapped oil reserves for our thirsty war machine. Very good. Alright, very nice. Uh, let's grab some more fuel, shall we? Yes, we shall. Oh, we're actually improving our oil already. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow, I got 64 here. Wow. That's quite a bit. Wait, is nuclear weaponry. Good. Um, yeah, that's not bad around here. Uh, okay, we can probably close that one out. Managing the famine. Oh, wow, that's actually really bad. That's actually really, really bad right now. Um, decrease factory output by a little bit more. Go and do that one then. Well, look, we gotta do another uh, famine thing here. Because minus 5,000 is actually really, really bad. 10, 11, so what is the max level then? I'm glad, you know, we gotta keep this one open. It's unfortunate. So actually, you know what? Maybe we'll do something else here. Crack the whip. <clears throat> Let's do this one. Forget out to cycle. Unfortunately, even within the SS hierarchy, there's not enough for everyone. The stockpiles are being depleted faster than some have projected, much to the chagrin of the Reichsfeer SS. You know that some difficult decisions must soon be made about who will get limited supplies of high-quality food, and it is a sacrifice he is willing to make. After all, what is more noble and virtuous way for an Aryan to suffer than for the good of his race and nation? That stuff is good. That is really bad, and we'll see what the effects will be soon. Right now, we have how much intelligence? 56, which is not bad. Let's see if we can do anything about this group. The Walloons. Nothing here yet. That's fine. Over here. Confiscate the equipment. We can try it again. I don't know. This seems kind of bugged, but whatever. Oh, we can make all oh, refiners. That's good. Yeah, I mean, technically, yeah, we can, but... Eh. We're kind of okay. Food production? Uh, since we need it, might as well, right? Might as well. Wow, that is really bad. In two months, we might have enough food, maybe? So... Um, that's really not good, actually. So, that's the case. Forget the outer circles, crack the whips. Uh, but, after we do some of this stuff, too. Don't forget about this. Good, 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 good. 
crack the whip. With the requisitioning of designated food supplies in the less desirable and the reallocation to these essential personnel who ensured that the Oldenstadt, we may rest assured that when the food begins to run short and the apparatus of the state remains well fed, their loyalty will be without question. Until then, there is much work to be done. From the laborers, we must ask more, and from the people, we must demand more service. Heightened quotas and increased conscription shall soon become necessary measures, and as such, the people will inevitably become increasingly unruly. However, our loyal and well-fed personnel shall ensure that the people do not get out of hand. We can rest assured of it. Good. That's still looking pretty bad. Um, hmm. Massacre, okay. Refineries versus industrial farms. I don't want to do this, but I will if I have to, so we'll see. Loyalty still okay. Um, not bad. And do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and uh, relaxed, we'll say. Nice. Wow, that's pretty bad. There you go, that's pretty good. Um, what else we got around here? Pretty good. We got plenty of uh, reserve people now. We can still bulldoze some of these places. If we have to, you know what, so be it. Um, Bugand? Sure, why not? You know, I'll we'll do two then, just in case. Just in case. Because food supplies are not looking good. Ooh, that is not good. It looks like we're probably going to have to steal some stuff then. So be it. Yeah, that's really bad. Crack the whip. Waste not or want not? Might as well. With such a precious commodity being managed so carefully, the penalties for misappropriating it must be consequently adjusted to reflect its importance. To hoard and waste food in the middle of a delicate situation is the reemergence of the same degenerate ideas that underpin Jewish capitalism, using flawed judgment to place the individual's needs above those of the Volk. The same approach must be taken. Negligent waste will result in arrest and interrogation by the Gestapo. Intentional waste or hoarding will merit a far more intensive process, though. Seriously, what are we supposed to do here, then? Oh, look. Intensify force farming? Ooh. Sure, why not? I don't care what the effects are. We need food now. We need more command power, too. How much does it take? 30... Some... 35 command power? Yeah, it's 35. Minus 5,000. We got one month left before we start not doing well. Level 42, look at that. Wow. One of these places should be done with some of this stuff then. Better army professionalism. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Okay, so it's actually going up now. That's good. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So that's good. we got to keep a really close eye on that, but I'm glad we saved some of those focuses. Oh, boy. Actually, can you get rid of some more slaves? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. We need more support equipment now, though. That's all right. Wow. These guys have been really hit hard. Oof, baby. Uh, that's not too bad over here. Take a, a few more. That's fine. Wow, 33. That's really, really, really bad. Here, build another factory or something. Here, just shove a lot of them in here. Well, that'll be much better. Thank goodness for Redomo. Cool. And... Uh, that's okay. Build another factory because we can. Another factory because we can. Even though it costs us a lot of, you know, resources and stuff. And it hurts our GDP a little bit. Just building more stuff is fine overall. There you go. Build some more. Yeah, I'm glad we uh, cleared some more space out then. Well, let's see. Anything else we can spend some slaves on? A domestic education? No. Uh, actually, we can do that one and raise maybe some more loyalty, maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Ooh. And, and have another 5,000 soldiers there. Construction speed. Factory output. Uh, 
It costs PP, but we need the Rodomo to work a little bit more efficiently. Oh, look at that. Oil? Oh, more fuel gain? Ah, that's okay. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. So now this is looking not too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and go back and do what we were doing in survey camps. Now that we have a little bit of that crisis figured out, we can continue doing what we want to do. Like arming the bunkers. 9, 11, 11, 11, huh? Not bad. 1800? Uh, I want to wait. Happy 1972, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. So, guns. No more uranium. Not bad. Improved oil processing is pretty good. And flexible automation. Not bad. Might as well grab that because you can. Can we come down here? No, we're done with all that stuff then. Industry. 80. Light aircraft. Uh, better artillery. Alright, so we have 53. Suspicion is somewhat high here. I would like to continue doing this, but... Unapproved convoys. Transport convoys. Okay. Well. Actually. Yeah, this one has... Uh, we'll try that one. Why not? Still loyal. We got plenty of slaves in reserve. Uh, skilled laborers. Skilled laborers. Rodomo's going to need a lot. Um, 95. There you go. Increased by a little bit more. Uh, that's roughly okay. Roughly okay. That's pretty darn good, actually. That's too good. There you go. Share the wealth. And by wealth, I mean uh, soldiers. And soldiers, I mean involuntary workers. Successful investigation. Good. Follow it up with <clears throat> accelerate the weight. Yes. Although some within the honorable ranks of the Alden Shot grow impatient regarding our investigations into the SS Charlemagne and SOS Walloon, we know that revenge is the dish best served cold, and will move carefully and meticulously. Although we have already devoted a great portion of our resources and ability towards these endeavors, we have not yet even begun to plumb the depths of the of our allies' cowardice and betrayal. So, however high the cost grows, we will make sure that our agents have whatever they need in order to discover the evidence we need to finish off our foes. Although, a few might whine that the cost is too high, and these resources might be better spent further in the economic strength of the Shot, or on a completion of the global plans, we know that our best chance is to defeat the legions in a single decisive blow, so that they pose no threat to the sustainability of the National Socialist Burgundian system as manifestation in our long-term goals. Not bad. Anything else here? Uh, not really. Not too much, no. There goes Anyanya, but no one really cares about those people. We can't transfer any more guys over? What the heck? Okay, that's weird. Cool. When can we crack some more whips? Whips, 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 whips. Cool. There you go. Thank you. And anything else? Yeah, this stuff is okay. Oh, what is this? Optimus synthetic refineries. Refining output goes up by 5%. Lose a few more guys. I mean, that's okay. We're actually doing well on refineries right now, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, food is doing well. We're doing very well with that. Get more guns, because guns, we love guns here. Good. Food's doing well. Uh, we can just close this one out for now. We don't need to see that one. This stuff, we need to keep it open for now. And I think everything is pretty okay. Maybe not great, but pretty okay around here. Wow, we're moving quickly through this episode. Nice. Accelerate the weight. Expand consumer opportunities. Let's do the oil wells of the basin, Paris Basin. Our surveyors have come back with the most welcome news. Underneath the nerve center of the shot lays the black gold we so desperately need. The Paris Basin is a surprising discovery, but certainly the most welcome one. Being so close to several metropolitan areas, it is a trivial matter to requisite or resquite the required labors for processing this vital resource. Of course, we need to set up the required heavy equipment for extraction, drills, piping, plum, pumps, and all need more need to be shipped or dragged if need be to our new construction sites. The labor will be intense and long, but the right sphere demands results. Our self-sufficiency is the utmost importance for our final goal. Military construction, very good. More weaponry. Not bad. Uh, anything else here? You might want to increase that maybe a little bit. Decrease that by a little bit. Now that's not too bad. 
If it multiplies just in case, and after this we shall do... Actually, I want to do this one. Upgraded ventilation research. Mankind was not designed to live underground. Cave-in, stagnant airflow, and dangerous pockets of heavy gases conspire to make the miner or the cave dweller's life a short one. But the Aryan is able to adapt in both his body and his tools. The power superior to Teutonic engineering. Plus a plethora of redundancies shall make sure that the inhabitants of the bunkers can survive for a long, long time. Fallout Burgundy. Oh, that sounds like a fun game. Very nice. Oh, we got some more things here. Look at this. Refining construction, of course. Uh, anything else that we really, really care about right now? That's a good look. Uh, this stuff should all be pretty good overall. We just pretty much just checked it, but uh, what do we have here? Oh, nice. Shove some more in. Take a few more out. And there you go. Uh, you have enough to deal with that. Good enough. Good enough. Go to factory, there you go. Uh, well, wow. some of these places just, we make way too many. We maybe should really raise down some of these uh, uh, cities that we made. We might need to, actually. You know what? Just gonna do that one. Uh, mm, Paris, no. We like Paris. No, it's hard, to, it's easier to get up to here. It's very easy to get to Walloon, so let's cut down this one so we can actually, like, easily just click on it, so. Famine, looking okay. Not great, but okay. Um, and, uh, monthly industrial output, factory output, which gives the monthly expertise, facilities. Agricultural, sell off our wealth. Oh, ma look at that, max level, look at that. So it actually does tell you max level eventually. So level 12 must be the max level then. So I don't care about research facilities right now. As you can tell, we have modern research facilities, actually. That's pretty good. But after that, we should do the future secure. At last, the Reich's secure SS may rest easy. The bunkers are built, the lists are finalized, and the silos are filled and armed. All that remains is one question. When shall we put the trigger? Awaiting Ragnarok, huh? That seems like a pretty good thing to do. And how are we building? Not enough, not enough. One, two, three, four plus. Four point four. In my mind, is that is what it is doing? Very nice. Keep arming the bunkers. There is an end goal here. Five thousand is good. Increase officer capacity. Oh, uh, acquire additional assets. This pickle park gets some goods. Monthly intel. Oh yeah, do that one. Upgrade ventilation research. The future secured. Very good. Open investigations. Sixty-four nine. I would love to do this, but we can't do it yet. That sucks. Red Poppy? I think we failed this one, actually, so... Um, we tried to search for worker drones. Watch the supply chain, why not? Let's make sure we're really successful, so... Oh, we already have maxed... Wow, we already maxed ourselves out one. That's not good. Um... That is really not good then. Uh, where else can we throw some more guys? Here once maybe. Um, we can take off a few here. Build another military factory. That's good. And you know what? If we have to, I don't mind bulldozing a few more down. Then we're making too many. Huh. Gotta get rid of them. Good, 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 good. Neither. 5,000. Upgrade the vents. Oh, look at that. Nice. Three supplies. Oh, you just spend... Oh, that's what vents are for. 44. Nice. Minus 11% consumer goods is pretty darn good. A future secured. And then, we can keep going down this way. Expand the tanks. Produce liquefied coal. Our newfound oil reserves, reservoirs are not sufficient for the Reich's Fuhrer. Our oil output is still not high enough for the Stadt to see, achieve autarky. We need more. However, there's a way to increase our output even more. An ambitious plan has been laid on the table. The Reich, during our great struggle against the Allied powers in the Soviet Union, faced a similar lack of petrol. However, German ingenuity found a way. As always, coal, after grueling and tedious work, can be turned into liquefied, can turn into liquefied into motor oil and fuel. The process is not as efficient as simply extracting crude oil, but it will increase our petrol output nonetheless. Very good. Awaiting Ragnarok. <clears throat> 
Beneath the streets of Alls Paris, beneath dozens of meters of concrete and stone, the fluorescent lights flickered alive. These are the HQ of the program that was only known by the name Gallahorn. And today it's the first official day of operations, however. Its workers chose to refer to by a far more accurate name, Totman Schalte, the Dead Man's Switch. The purpose of these HQ is deceptively simple, transmit. They are to continually broadcast a series of buzzes by radio to a network of relay bunkers hidden in the most remotest locations in the Oldenstadt, with an operator reading an ever-shifting list of code words and numbers of an, on the hour. If they read off a certain sequence of code words or of transmission stopped entirely, then the relay bunkers are to contact SSWVA, Opel Group and Führer, and a secure lo secondary location, who will receive all authority on whether to launch a secondary strike if the sec secondary location is unreachable. Then the relay bunkers are to immediately broadcast firing orders to the Nil Nilfheim N Niflheim Jorgengard or Dona programs, thereby regaining Operation Ragnarok and unleashing the entirety of the Burgundian arsenal at the capitals of the other world powers. As the transmitters in the Gallahorn bunk begin sending out their broadcasts, everyone is smiling, most of all the Rex Fear SS. At last we are protected by our foes. At last we are safe from attack. At last we are unstoppable. Oh 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 that's not good. Charlemagne. Ha. Huh. Please. Um, let's double check all these. That'd be good. Wow, that's really bad. Go to factory here? Nope, we can't. Okay. Wow, it's really bad in some of these places here. Holy cow. Even that's not enough. Go to factory. Man, we devastated our guys before, but man, it's really bad right now. Um... Camper Domo, you gotta take way more guys. It's not enough yet. Uh, 55. Take another 50. There you go. Screw it. Take another. Take that many. Yeah, maybe we'll just bulldoze a lot of these then. Because food production will no longer be penalized, and we just don't have the space. You know? Can we get rid of some of these guys? No. Can we take some other actions down here to get rid of these guys? Maybe? What are you max level, though? Hmm. We need more options here. Oh, industry, yes. Uh, yeah, we must do some of these then. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Defense artillery is pretty nice. Anything else? That's pretty good. Oh, do we have actually military factories, maybe? It's kind of cool. We do? Wow, look at that. Uh, go and do that then, I guess. Keep making more guns. Are we actually making enough, like, tanks and stuff? Wow. It's kind of radical, not going to lie. <clears throat> but pretty cool. Follow it up with... Expand consumer operations. Although the collaborator legions are no doubt weak and inferior, they were selected for their near area intel intelligence and must be so must be dealt with carefully. If they catch wind of our investigations, our operations will be set back months, if not years. In order to have a chance to catch our so called allies in wrongdoing and sabotage their ability to resist, we must meticulously and efficiently infiltrate our foes using SD agents honed by years of external operations in the glorious and the global plans pursuant to the vision of our glorious Reichsphere SS. For the moment, however, our priority is stealth. We will invite the leaders of the SS Charlemagne to wine and dine with us, the leaders of the SS Langemach to share their finest pies and pastries, and the SS Walloon to tour the gorgeous meadows and streams, all the while gathering info and evidence about their degenerate treachery. Then, when the moment comes, our strike will be swift, powerful, and decisive. Very good. Ah, uh, good. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, good. You should be loyal to us. Do that as well. Let's see anything else around here. Boom, boom. And then, that's okay. We don't need any more military factories either, so it's kind of weird. Rodomo? Oh, yes, please. Take them off our hands, Rodomo. Good. Anything else around here? No? Oh, that's fine, whatever. More building space, maybe? No? Okay, whatever. Perdomo? Here, have a, have slightly more. There you go. Alright, let's see. Increased territory, intelligence gathering. I don't want to do that, but I kind of do. Alright, so we have zero suspicion. Maybe we'll do these guys. Uh, pipe trucks missing, okay. Interrogate the driver. Track the trucks. Let's look into the records, why not? Cool. 
Cool. Anything else we can do here? Not too much. So guns. Guns, guns, guns. <clears throat> Not bad. And then expand the tanks. Now that the petrol output is up to acceptable numbers, it is time we invest in increasing our strategic reserves. For years now, we've never had the need for large-scale holding tanks. We never, simply never had that much oil in hand to warrant expanding our storage capabilities. The times are quickly changing, however. The Oldenstadt is loath to wasting any excess petrol we produce, and the Reichswehr demands action. We'll call up the masters and build new massive holding tanks for our newly found wealth, which is a good thing. An unexpected setback. Oh, we had 90%. We failed. What the heck? That is very un-Aryan of you guys. Oh, my goodness. Terrible. Guns. Good, good, good. That's good, though. Expand the tanks. Still looking good there. Anything else here that we really care about? No. I don't mind expanding the camps some more, though. Yeah, let's keep expanding the camps or whatever. Uh, camps are okay. Maybe not the camps. Uh, factory output? Yeah, let's do factory output next. Redirect Walloon's attention. Oh, wow, that sucks. Um, no, I think we're pretty good. Until great is 29? Holy crud. Uh, current intelligence is 26, which is pretty bad, but whatever. Everyone's still pretty loyal, so that's good. Anything else here? You can take off a few more guys. Ordomo! Is that time of the uh, year again? Time of the month? Nice. Cool. Cool. Alright, let's grab some of that then. Thank you. Should be good enough for now, but let's read about uh, worth its weight in gold. We need to expand the tanks, which we're doing. Yes. Black gold, the lifeblood of our industry, the fuel that drives our panzers, that propels our transports, which allows our armed forces to be ready for anything at a moment's notice. We have this liquid gold, and we have it in abundance now. Our reserves are quickly filling up thanks to the massive amount of effort we've diverged towards energy independence. And to the Reich's Führer's approval. With our industrial base, we now lack for nothing. We are not reliant on the global market anymore. Our domestic production and austerity has finally proved to be enough. For even now, we saw more and more about a part of our plan has finally come to fruition. Good. We can only get 22 every day, which is not good, but we still have, of course, the oil crisis in the world, and so we're doing it relatively okay. Anything else here we really should concern ourselves about? Not too much, I'm seeing. Rodomo, how's it going? It's still pretty much exactly the same as we left it. That's fine. Improved rubber processing. We've got more than enough rubber, so we're done with this stuff for now. Let's come back over to tanks, baby. Good. Thank you for removing those guys. Happy September 1st. Good, good, good. Oh, man. You guys definitely need more workers here then. That's not nearly enough. And now we're probably going to really try to do a lot of stuff about investigations. 55 is pretty good. Walloon. Nothing about you guys yet. That sucks. Looking to receive it. Um, I don't know about that one. Look at that. Codify maps. Le find out where it leads to, I guess. Just because we can. Whip them. Nice. Still looking good. Education we don't concern ourselves about. Nice. And then the final moves. <clears throat> at last, after months of plotting and careful maneuvering at every level, we are at last able to enforce our will upon our longtime allies in the SS Walloon and Charlemagne. Every level of the opposing legions is infiltrated by our forces. Every one of their units has been carefully located, their weapons, stores, sabotage, and their leadership, uh, their leaders primed for assassination. Our meticulous planning and tenacity spanning decades of foolish denial of their inferior nature by the other legions is at last brought forth into a single brilliant stroke that will permanently decapitate this threat to our rule and ensure that Himmler reigns supreme over the Oldenstaff for decades to come. At our signal, our forces will begin to the attack and our enemy units will, and bases will quickly be overwhelmed, their leaders killed and their resources confiscated. These low, few low-level troops believed to have some salvageable potential of service into the Burgundian Way will quickly be integrated into their new units, while most of their companions are sent to the work camps to spend the rest of their lives helping to empower the Aryan race that they had tried to do destroy good good we can finally get rid of them and we're still looking good there which is awesome 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 intelligence looking pretty good we're still looking pretty good around here too not bad 
Campodomo. Anything else? No, we gotta wait for the next month. It's not the next month. Yep. Nothing up there either. Alright, so be it. You only lost 1,500 guys? Come on. It's not good enough. Pump those numbers up. Uh, anything else? One, two, three. That's good enough. Good enough. Good enough as well. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's not good. Um, refineries. Uh, I don't really want to build any more refineries, really. I want to save our PP. We, we spend our PP on other things that we really need, so. Cool. Anything up there? Workers. These officers. Mm, not too much, no. Hey, Hemler's uh, max level. So, our top priority. A cost for operations, operating decisions will slightly decrease. Perhaps above all else, a single mighty unity of the olden shot has always been its greatest asset. It is what gives us our decisive advantage over our enemies, who must spend months bickering in their senseless halls of democracy and deviant bastard forms of national socialism while we whisper in their ears and prepare for immediate victory. Since its creation, the sole and ultimate purpose of the Burgundian way has been the plan, our moment, our perfection, our final solace. But it seems that the Aryan race must be trusted once more before it becomes immortal. While the completion of the Reichsphere assets is greatest greatest project is of course our most crucial objective it's equal by the necessity of destroying the sneaking filthy disgusting degenerate collaborators who have for so long poisoned the sanctity of the Oldenstadt as the only true manifestation of the Aryan cut unprepared and often unarmed we may only need to crush them under our tank treads saving our bullets for those who stand in our way across the globe cool followed up with fine little troops dismantle our targets once and for all we need to get a lot of uh, pr uh, preparation Atastrophic, probably catastrophic. The SS is an iron fist, unstoppable and unbreakable. But the raids and the collaborators are a sensitive nature, and we must ensure that the units involved are simultaneously completely loyal and yet relatively expendable. Wherever possible, the collaborator legions will be sent against each other, so that an absolute minimum of pure Aryan blood will be spent on the project. As always, the superior numbers of the Aryan enemies are betrayed by their discord and petty disputes. The fools will conveniently destroy each other, so that in the end we will have only scraps of resistance to deal with. A good training exercise for our own pure-blooded troops. After years of exhausting tolerance of non aryan soldiers, our patients will at last be rewarded with the final purification of the Oldenstadt and with the defeat of the remaining of all remaining internal resistance. We have come so far. We are so close. The moment of our triumph against the enemy within is upon us, and we will soon be followed by the completion of the plan and the destruction of all of our foes without. Good. Rearrange a trap. Gain five. Oh, this is planning and stuff. Uh, let's, take, let's do this real quick first. And thank you, engineers. We're so good on food. Um, anything else around here? Greatly increased officer capacity. We need... Oh, okay. Not bad. Capradomo. Here we go. Here's some more guys. Take a few more guys out. That's not bad. Quickly skim, skim, skim. Really not bad. I mean, we're doing pretty darn well here anyways at this point, so... Uh, uh you got one of these guys. That was this one. That's good. That's good. You're doing well, doing well, doing well. That was a bit too like that. Cool. Actually, can we get rid of any of them? Yes, we can. I'm glad I looked. All right. So for this one, uh, actually, this stuff is okay. We we can close this one out for now. Uh, food is pretty good. Oh, sell off our wealth would be nice. So the final moves: pursue Walloon. Okay, so if you want to rebuild that, please go right ahead. Oh, this place cannot be allowed to dream of when this groundwork. Rearrange administrative positions, weekly stability, get more groundwork, isolate suspect personnel. Why not? Pursue them? We must have discovered who leads this failed resistance before the operation could be carried out. Oh, does that mean we, we target them? We're going to click on that. Okay, so that's good. We can target the Walloon first. Prepare a trap. Security personnel effectiveness will decrease by one in every state for the duration of the decision. Oh boy. Um, prepare assets against them. More suspicious of us, huh? Utilize groundwork to ease organization of operations. All oh look at that. All operations decisions cost less political power. Um, that's pretty good. I like that. Maybe that'll be good. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Find the little troops though. 
fake your movements. The zero hour of our attack on the collaborator legions grows closer, and now more than ever, secrecy is important for the success of our mission. All those who defied us, the degenerate felt who so long pretended to be our equals, will finally learn their lesson that there is no race superior to the Aryan, and no army equal to the SS, but in the meantime, they must be made to think that they are still our bosom brothers and closest allies, and that our preparations against them are only routine exercises and standard maneuvers. As our soldiers move to the forward positions, our agents in the SD are hard at work making sure that the enemies kept completely blind to our plans. Up until the final moments, the collaborator legions will be winning and dining our commanders. Their lay members playing dice with their German comrades and their inner leaderships being set false being set false reports of our upcoming offenses against resistance elements, unsuspecting that it is they that will soon be eliminated. The dream of a pure Aryan state, free from degeneracy and delusions, have almost reached its final form. Once perfected, the perf power of the Oldenstadt will be unleashed upon the world. The plan will be complete, and a long war of the pure races against their foes will end in victory. Lowering Legion's suspicion will be unlocked, which is nice, but let's keep doing that. Good. Flip, Wulun Loyalists. Get more preparation. We want maximum preparation target suspicions 4.5. <clears throat> Groundwork, oh, zero. Wait, I thought we had, okay. Maneuver around them? Five groundwork. Prepare trap. I guess we might as well, right? Hmm. Man, this is so much stuff. Rodomo, you probably need to get more workers here. That's just fine, you can have all of them. Um, lower that by a little bit. Uh, that's actually okay. Up by one. Lower by one. That's fine. That is mostly fine. There you go. Uh, there you go. Oh, new month, I guess. Not bad. Shove them back in. Oh, Havel's been murdered. Goodbye, Havel. Over here. Yeah, that's very good, very good. Nice. Uh, they're pretty maxed out. Over there, over here is okay. Really stickly. Cool. Oh, silence of rooster. Oh! Are we done with this for now? I guess so. Uh, do we have another focus then? Oh, we still have technically this stuff to do. Uh, I mean, technically we could do this, but it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I mean, the war's already over, so. Igniting his rage. So, basically we don't have to do it. Let's just collect the political power, because we could really use it, honestly. Like, we could really use the extra political power, so we're going to wait. Suspicion 802. Nice. Uh, secret high society. Can't do anything there. Let's come back here then. And analyze the crystals, bribe the dealers. And then, can we do this again? I want to do these guys. Oh, we can't do them? Let's go back here then. Oh, we're technically already doing another one, that's fine. So be it, so be it, so be it. Look at the stuff at the bottom, max level, nice, the breakdown continues. Despite the SS's guards' best efforts, the sabotage in Indus 3 Berserk Rodomo continues to intensify. Broken machinery, cut brake lines on trucks, broken gun ma gas mains, rivets removed from walkways. It feels like every day the darnable saboteurs invent a new way to undermine the Aryan race and all that they stand for. Understandably, the city's SS guards have become rather zealous in the hunt for these saboteurs. Curfews have been tight, and raids into workers' households continue in search of contraband or beca and becoming more frequent. And the definition of what exactly qualifies as an enemy combatant has been broadened a bit. As a pleasant side effect and a satisfactory con consolation, for the SS, it seems that the guard's incredible diligence has greatly added the Gestapo in tracking down every suspected dissidence. It turns out that having watchful eyes on the corner of every block wonder, does wonders for the Reich's main security office. The crackdowns will continue until morale improves. Nice. Uh, this seems like it takes way too long. Like, this really does take way, 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 way too long. So, um, I don't want... I really don't want to have another episode after this, maybe, just because... I don't know, it just... It seems like this is pretty much the end of where we're supposed to be at, but it's taking a while, man. McGo McGovern's been elected. Wow. 
That's good. A successful investigation. That's good. Flip balloon loyalists. Sure, why not? Oh, ground workers. We need more uh, preparation. Yeah, we really need to keep as much, get as much PP as possible. Holy crud. 1.5 billion is not bad. Keep working on stuff. Keep working on it. How's the uh, food? Oh, food is... Oh, that is not good. 121.5. That's really bad, actually. Uh, actually, can... Yeah, might as well bulldoze it. Red poppy? There's not much here, though. Track the trucks, I guess. Um, so we'll loon stuff? I mean, there's nothing we can do. I mean, we already found out where their headquarters are at, so... So. It is what it is. Uh, redirect raid uh, gets her attention. 121 is not good. A successful investigation is good, though. Over here, prepare... Utilize prepared assets against Walloon. Suspicion is 10.5. Isolate suspected trick. Oh, yeah, that's good. Why not? Allocate more equipment. That'd be kind of good. Utilize groundworks to ease organization. Mm, all operations decisions cost less political power. Distract the leadership. Oh, that's pretty good to do. We just don't have enough political power. I don't like this part. Oh, oh we're losing food. That's not good. Mm, anything else? Oh, look at that. That's not good. Put them all in Rodomo here. Literally put all of them in there. Um, yeah, I, this part, yeah, hopefully Burgundy does get a rework. I think they could really use a rework, actually. After after playing through this entire campaign, they could really use a rework. Just because it, it flushing's out maybe just a little bit more, maybe. Maybe. So. It is 73. And I know we could do, like, global plans and such, but still. Officer capacity, might as well. Alright, so we got enough of this. Maneuver around them. How much preparation do we need before we can target them? Launch a raid. Grow more suspicious of us. Um, I might not like to, but... Suspicion will go down, I guess. That'd be good. Minus 10. And can we raise it maybe a little bit more? 10 preparation. I guess. 20 up. Do we really need to get to 100? That's insane. Oh, that's pretty good, though. That stuff is pretty good. Can we do anything else down here yet? So what do we have to do here? Do we need prep? Please don't tell me preparation has to be 100. We've dismantled Walloon. The Resistance. Charlemagne. A thousand years... Uh, so basically, that's probably the end goal here. Like, <clears throat> uh, yeah, this takes way too long. Like, Burgundy, it's almost impossible to play as if you want to do everything correctly. I, I just don't know if it's possible, like, to do everything completely correctly. Like, holy crud, this is a bit ridiculous. Hmm. Looking into the morale, I guess. Uh, still loyal, which is good. Budget boosts. Might as well cut it out down. That'd be good. Well, yeah, it's already 73. And, uh, oh, Siberian Soviet Socialist Republic. West Siberian Republic. Oh, these guys are killing. They're going around them and killing each other. Okay. West Russian Revolutionary Front. That's different. Okay. Um, yeah. At this point, I think. Oh, it's successful. At this point, let's go save the game. And I'm just going to use cons commands. Just, uh, let's get through this. Because this is taking too long. And unless you know this campaign perfectly, like, you can't get through this. You just can't. So, we, we need more PP. Like, just give us, like, a thousand PP or something. Uh, launch a raid. Just go and do all this stuff. Because I don't want to wait around too much longer for this. So, uh, get more groundwork, I guess. That's fine. Go and do that. It doesn't really matter. So, it's... I just... I'm not going to... I just want to keep going through this. Sharpening the axe. 
attempted to dismount them. We need at least 50 preparations because it's already 73. This takes way too long. Because if you knew about this like earlier, like if I were to do a second Burgundy campaign, I probably would do this a little bit faster. But I mean, it's, it just takes too long, man. The final moves. Um, we're losing food as well, which seems like that mechanic needs to be maybe a little bit more, you know, reworked as well. Just because, yeah, there's always should be the threat of, of you know, losing food. But at this point, like, there's not really much we can do about it. So, I don't know. It just seems like we could do this a little bit better. Operation preparation. That's fine. Can we lower their suspicion of us? Maneuver around them. Nothing happens. Waiting in the dark. Oh, tragedy seems like the leadership of the Walloon SS caught wind of her plans and they vanished into hiding. The north of the Ordenstrad is in flames and the degenerate filth rebel against the rifle support superiors. Whatever hope we had of ending this problem quickly has vanished. Our victory will now come through a long slog, for one which we wait for a little time. The mood at Himmler's estate is one of panic as lower ranking subordinates have and even some of his inner circle flee as quickly as possible, hoping to avoid being blamed for the disaster. The Rexford SS has spent much of the day in a blind rage, unleashing his fury against enemies past and present as well as its staff and underlings. This is just the beginning. That's so stupid. I like, come on. This is this is this def definitely needs a rework. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this definitely needs uh, a rework here. I don't like how the way this is. The Silence Rooster, I guess, we'll read. Uh, and you can tell this is not finished because outside its observers, the existence of the SS Walloon Brigade was a contradiction. An army made up of French-speaking Belgian nationalists fighting alongside their long-term Flemish opponents and German occupiers. The apparent aberration of this force's existence was only enhanced by a continued existence with the implementation of Oldenstadt and the rise of true national socialist German Workers' Party therein. Little did the collaborators know that for once the degenerate outsiders were right. Their existence is a contradiction, a deviation from the true path of the Burgundian way, and at last a contradiction that has been removed from the annals of the area. As expected, the Walloons were caught unawares by our attack. Deceived by our covert distraction operations and unable to compete with the fury and firepower of the SS in open battle, they put up little resistance to their former brothers. What weapons they possess have been captured, the HQ has been occupied, and their leadership has either surrendered or died fighting. At long last, the oldest shell will no longer have to suffer these pathetic idiots and more interested in their puny nationalism and small luxuries than in the completion of our true purpose. And indeed, our victories made the path towards this purpose more certain than ever. Without such small distractions, the completion of the plan lies within our grasp and only needs to reach out and grasp it. Yeah, okay, I just bypass it. That's fine with me, but yeah, no, this needs this definitely needs rework. Yeah, I, I I'm in agreement with <laughs> other people. This definitely 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 needs rework. Because you can't get anything done. And you can't get any more lower suspicion of them, so groundwork is zero, suspicion is too high. So yeah. Revolting? Yeah, I don't think so, man. That's extremely stupid. Puma, I'm just going to do Puma. Just, I want to see what if we have anything here. P Plan Puma is about you know the United States and such. So um, at this point, I'm pretty much done with this campaign. But if you want to read about these, I'm just going to do focus dot auto complete just to see what happens. If you like to read about these, please go right ahead. I'm kind of done with this campaign. It just it just lasted too long. Seriously, like American system of government. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Uh, Exploring the American divide. It is what it is. Divide they fall. The southern ulcer. It is what it is. Cool. Tilting the scales. Democratic rabble. Corrupting the bankers. Giving into their hate, in which you try to get Yaki, I think, elected, so that'd be kind of cool. But at this point, I just want to see what happens, so I'll just do focus.no checks. Very disappointing end to this campaign, though. The execution of France, please go right ahead. A sigh of relief. The slaughter of the lion. Yeah, but this, it's it just, it just kind of grinding itself just too far out. Like, it definitely needs a rework. I've said that so many times in this episode, but a thousand years secured. Incongruous cries from the crowd are not only a thing that can spoil an orchestral performance. Each musician must also play his part to the point of excellence. Any pauses in timing or sour notes, any disloyalty from rebellious legions would also ruin the score. The older shot has suffered throughout, through no shortage of such malfeasance, but those days are finally to end with the loyalty of the SS secured and the resistance to his domain extinguished. The reign of the Rexford SS can safely... Last until eternity. May a thousand years of harmony ring out. Or in totality, if you want to read that, please go right ahead. But subservience does not require love. Other than that, I mean, oh, we can do this as well. I mean, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Our Austerian connection. And this one, of course, just because we can. But other than that, I mean, I'm not sure this is supposed to, like, end or anything like that. Just because <laughs> I know that Himmler dies in, like, what, 81? But we can't do anything. We literally can't do anything because of uh, the stupid investigations would take s way too much time and effort to get done especially when we're trying to do other global plans so i think it's a bit extreme and it really just for the love of god needs a rework like there's not a chance call if you want to read about that please go right ahead um 
I posted from the street as well. If you want to read about these, please go right ahead. But yeah, no. Is this ever supposed to end? Probably not, actually. Um, our chance encounter. It is what it is. So I think I'm pretty much done with this campaign. Yeah, this this could have been a little more fleshed out. But um, for what it was, it was pretty good. Like, don't get me wrong. It's pretty good for what it is, but it just... Look at that. Oh, God, no. I mean, I like the whole Rodomo thing. It really fit the tone of Burgundy quite well. So, but I don't know. It just... I'm glad I played it, but in the future... We, I would like to see a little bit more. Wow, preparing a trap. This has basically been reset. Pursue the red poppy. You know what? Let's see. Decisions. Decisions. No check. Or is it decision. No check. There we go. Uh, pursue the red poppy, I guess. Pursue Charlemagne. I'll get more equipment. Just go and do all these. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter since we're pretty much done here, so. Um, so we'll just see that everyone uh, doesn't like us, so. Engineers doesn't even matter at this point. Sharpening the axe, no true enemy. Sharpening the blade, steady now. Okay. Just see that anything else pops up. Maybe, maybe not. I would get some more food here as well. Anything here? No, I don't think anything happened. The one that got away, resistance failure. Speed, speed bump, not a roadblock. Yeah, but I don't know how long you're supposed to play Burgundy, but it seems like it's just going to last forever and ever and ever and ever. And I, just, I kind of just want to keep moving on. So if that's going to be it, I guess that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah. It was fun while it lasted. Um, I hope to see more in the future. Uh, for Burgundy, I really hope, like I said, they get a... Fleshed out... I won't say a rework. I've said this too many times. But, it really just a rework. But, if you enjoy the campaign, leave a like. <laughs> wow, look at that. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign, which we shall explore what they have. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.